YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we've got the Sky RC's new Bluetooth corner weight system. And this one can hold 2,000 grams, but that's per scale. So 8,000 in total. Um, you've got your rated voltage, I'm not sure why it says that. It's battery powered anyway. Um, tells you what batteries you use. It's got one of them in each four of the uh, weight pads. Bluetooth 5 and a few other bits of information. So, first thing you're going to want to do before you uh, get trying to set this up or do anything with it is get the RC Gears app. Now, you can just scan the QR code or you should just be able to browse to the Play Store or App Store. So you should just be able to search RC Gears and then it's the top one. So I'll just install that quickly. I'm going to try and go through the process of setting this up without actually missing anything out. Because um, I have seen a few videos already online but they seem to miss chunks out one way or another. So open the app and there's a few other bits of kit that they support but basically you want the corner weight system and for some reason it wants to know your device location so I just set it to only when the app is running right so once you've got the app installed ready let's see what we get in the box So you've got some basic instructions, just tells you how to download it, your stock password is four zeros, tells you how to reset the scales or tear, and then just another bit of uh, information telling you how to calibrate it, and how to set the actual device up. But I've read through this, so we should be good. Now, you do get a set of, set of stickers, and I'm guessing that's in uh, English, Chinese, and Japanese, maybe? Not sure. So, we've got the four little pads. And these are your little scales. that because we don't need it so each one at scales you've got a space where you can put your name tag you've got the battery and a little button to click turn it on and off so if we press it once on each one So, let's see. So, have your Bluetooth on, and it will scan through, and hopefully it will find all four. So, then we need to choose one, and what it will do, it will ask you for the password. So, put in your four zeros, and then we should see the light blink. So, it's this one that it's trying to set. So, we'll set that to right front. And then we'll drop a little sticker on it. Now, we'll look for another one. gonna go right rear simply just cause that's where it is where it is where I've got it set up but once you've got these added ones it's uh, really easy to just put them in the same spot So 
So hopefully if all goes to plan, this should pick up the last one. It should go left front with this one. Right, that should be a all set up. So if we go into set Right, so we've got the unit of measurement, we've got calibration, but you will need to calibrate this, you will need a 2000 gram weight to put on each one. You've got change password, so that will allow you to set your own password for each one, and you just go into it, confirm new password, press the button at the bottom, done. The auto power off is set to five minutes, but you can go into each one and you can tell it one to uh, 30 minutes, whatever you want. So you can set that on them all. Now, firmware version, let's click into it. So it's not, it's saying it'll keep it happy, but it's not yet told us if there's a firmware. So. Let's see if there's any new firmware for them. Apparently there is. Or maybe it just does this every single time without even checking. I'll let this run through in real time so you do get a, a realistic idea of how much time you're going to need to do these updates. Especially if you're waiting to use the... Uh, corner weight system i also be interesting to see because i clicked on the first one it'll be interesting to see if we have to go through this process for every one individual or if it just does the lot at once i believe it was version 1.2 was pre-installed on them And this is not taking too long if it's going to do all four, but if it's going to be for each one, then I'm probably going to skip the other three. Just do them off video. Right, so that says successful. So it looks like it did it and then it turned off. So let's see if it will start back up. And then see what firmware version it comes back on with. So it seems to have upgraded the firmware from 1.12 to 1.01. That, that doesn't seem an upgrade to me. Take it through the upgrade process again, see if it does anything any different. And then it comes through to an upgrade failed. So far not the most impressive uh, start, SkyRC. see what it does to another one well so that's the second one uh, that it says is upgraded but actually looks like it's downgraded Again, that one's disconnected and come on on a lower firmware version than what it were to start with. Right, 
So that's all for successfully uh, firmware updated but actually come out on a lower number. So and that's an option that doesn't do anything. So it looks like they all read, so let's try closing out the app and going back into it. And they're quite quick to uh, connect back up. So press tear before you put your vehicle on. Now one thing it does say, and this is obviously you can run this with larger RCs than this, but you want to line them all up so they're pretty much dead center on each wheel. And the one thing it does say in the instructions, it tells you to set it with the sway bar disconnected if fitted to your vehicle. So see if we can get you a uh, closer shot of what you actually get on this. So we've got front weight, rear weight, you've got front left, left total, rear left, then you've got front right, right weight as a percentage as well. And then further down, you've got your total weight, you've got your front, r right front to left rear, and left front to right rear balance as well. So hopefully that'll help you set your vehicle up. Now, let's go back into settings and see if it does anything different ah so what it actually does now we've restarted the app it's actually updated the firmware to version 1.13 so that's somewhat worth noting that it doesn't report the correct firmware until you've done a restart but Hopefully you've enjoyed this and that will give you a good idea of how to use the uh, Sky RC. And I believe it's the SK5036 this one. Um, but it's also got a part number of SCWS2000. Guessing that refers to the uh, 2000 grams per pad. And then to turn them off you just click the button on each one. And that's fully disconnected. So it looks like quite interestingly enough as well, this app will also do the uh, GSM O2O. And looks like they've got center of gravity gauge. I'm not seeing that one for sale yet, but uh, thanks again for watching WTFRC cars. If you like, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys.